Okay, so back at uh, attempt number two, the first thing I'm going to start doing is making a better clamping block to hold the piece of sheet metal down. And I think what I'm going to try and do is I've been cutting these really thin sheets of plywood and I'm going to clamp them down over the form that I've got and put glue in between each layer, let it harden and set up and it should, it should stay in that curve after it's all clamped down and, and it dries and so um, what I've been doing is getting this little so I think it's like three millimeter plywood underlayment from Home Depot it's like the cheapest plywood you could possibly get and the thinnest um, and so it's pretty easy to cut it doesn't need to be exact I'm just using uh, a razor blade and so I kind of cut out this one piece and I'm using it to scribe the other one and then you can cut that Just score it and then snap it. And so I've got, let's see, got three, four of those. Might be, might be good. One thing you gotta notice on these is that the plywood, um, you, you wanna, if you need to bend it a lot, you, you wanna find out which direction it, it bends without breaking as much. You know, and it's usually the, the grain of the wood Lengthwise, it usually doesn't bend against the grain of the wood as well. So this one, you can see the grains are going horizontally this way, and so it bends bends pretty decently without without breaking or snapping or anything. And I think if you really have to even get around a really tight corner, you use a scrap piece. So you can just score it. this backwards away, but I wonder if we can get it to, we might be able to. So you can get, you could just see, just score it lightly. Probably could be a little deeper and you can, you can kind of hear it starting to crack and creak as it's going around. But I might try. It does bend down pretty decently after it's been scored like that. And if you score it on the side, where it's bending in, or I guess the concave, the concave side, it won't break as easy. I know if I um, if I score this outside and then trying to bend it around so the scores are on the outside, the the, the wood fibers will kind of break because they're having to stretch. Um, and so uh, they're not like metal; they don't stretch, but um, they can compress a little bit since wood is a little bit soft. So I may try and do that around that really tight curve here. Other thing is I've done is I've cut a new piece of steel and I've cut it down um, pretty exact where I think I want it. And I've also cut down my form um, to get rid of all the excess material so I can um, come around here with clamps and clamp all the way in the back once this piece of wood, um, this clamping block is, is there. I think what I may do is I may put a couple holes in the back of this sheet metal and all the way through the wood just to keep it pinned there um, as an extra added bit of insurance so when this is forming this piece of metal can't move at all um, so I may may do that but we'll see what's um, how to get this clamping block finished first here so uh, I wonder if I could keep the steel there or probably best to probably best to leave that there I'd like to get I'd like to get it better in there. I wonder if I score both sides. Let's see. Yeah, wow, you can see how that's, that's bending really well. 
Of course, that's bending against the grain. I don't understand. I don't understand how they make this wood. Maybe that there's an internal grain between the two, two layers of plies, and that's what controls which way it bends. That's definitely what I want to see more of. So let's try. Let's try this. Oh, well, this one. Yeah. See, this one doesn't bend quite as well. It's. Well, we can leave it on the. Yeah, it could work. And then this is the opposite side. Let's see here. Let's first cut it. Beautiful there. Look at that. That's good. Get some glue ready. Do they have a... Oh, they didn't have an anti-tamper seal. So, okay. four layers. Alright, so let's clamp it together. This is gonna work but um, that's how they make plywood so this is just over a, a different form so I think it'll be well it certainly be better than those screws I hope we'll come back when it's when it's all dried up I'm back and uh, my plywood uh, form is, is dried and is hardened so I thought we can take this out and show you what right now I've got what I did is before I unclamped it I drilled two holes straight through everything so that um, I could use kind of these pins or even the idea was to use a bolt, but I think even just a, a piece of, you know, steel rod right through it will, will keep that piece of sheet metal indexed. And it also allowed me to get the, the clamp form on the, the same spot uh, every time if I have to do more than one panel, which seems likely that I will. That's what it looks like. You can see all the layers of wood are now, you know, glued into that rigid shape. And that exactly matches the piece of sheet metal that was on top of that form. And so it can, if I line up the holes, I'm just trying to do it from here, it lines up pretty well. And so that'll be a, that'll be a nice clamping jig holding it down. And so um, I think that'll allow me just to use clamps instead of trying to put screws. It's pretty rigid. It's not, not flexible at all. And so it's also gives me, it gives me a lot of 
good cushion where I can get clamps on there and, and keep it tight. So um, that's, I think what's next is that we'll get this piece of steel on here and start hammering. Ooh, that's kind of the exciting part, so we'll see. Now that I got this steel trimmed, I'm go ahead and put the put this little fixture back together so that I can trim trim the plywood away from this edge so that it doesn't interfere with where I'm trying to hammer form the, the flange on. So I will go ahead and kind of use, use my two pins here that I'm thinking are going to be right and then still dropping clamps everywhere. Clamp, clamp this down and make sure it doesn't move on me. And then flip this over so I can mark, mark the inside edge of this here. And that'll be my trim line. I'll we'll have to trim it there plus a little extra just so I can make sure to get, get, the, uh, get the hammer close enough to where I need it to. So there we go. And let's see. There's kind of a nice line. What the, the blue line is at this very outside edge right now, so that would be good for hammering the final edge, but what I do need is I also need to have this beaded edge that I need to um, get hammered. So I'm gonna have to pull that wooden piece back all the way to this wooden um, buck here so that there's this little bit of an edge showing there so that I can hammer down this beaded edge here so uh, I may have to scribe a little line maybe three-eighths of an inch inboard of that so I think that's what I'm gonna have to do I wonder if I can just kind of scribe the wood directly here. yeah it seems to be working Take it over to the bandsaw. So that's a little bit nicer, nicer edge there. Actually, pretty, pretty decent looking plywood. Looks like I got a good glue joint. So now we can get a steel back in there. Alright, so that's how that is looking here. This little piece of this edge here is my flange that's going to form over. You can see that tightens up pretty good. I think I might be a little bit long on the flange. And so, yeah, once this, once this is clamped up, that should be pretty cool. I may have to come out and pinch clamp it in here. Um, so I'm going to weld a piece of steel probably going across here that I can clamp uh, nice and nice and rigidly to so that this this um, this edge does not move. All right, so that's kind of the step one of the three fixes that I have to do. The next one is building a tool to kind of pre-shrink this edge to keep it from folding over in one spot. I bought some vice grip pliers that I can modify with some little um, jaws to kind of pre-crimp pre a fold in there, and I'll probably do that three, four, five, six places along this edge or this surface here. And um, as I'm starting to form that bend there, I'll go back and forth between here and here and really making sure that this does not get out of control before I do spend too much time over there like what happened earlier. That's it for there.